Oh, that's right, that's right. So we need to go and find Isabel's rocket. Yeah, yep, cool. All right, so let's go to the right side. And, but I feel like we've already been to the right side though. Huh. Me oh, wait. Oh, okay, okay. So it's not here. This is where we got the paper rocket. We need to go to the very, very right to where the boss room was at. I don't remember you being there. Banana milk. <gasps> Are you gonna give me banana milk? <laughs> what is that thing? Oh. Oh. Plus one health, plus two increased health. Uh, it's not that great. For, for 20 salt, it's not that great. Frog cookies? <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Okay. Okay. I didn't buy anything though. Why are you thanking me? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, wait, we're already here? What? I guess the game. Oh, I actually like that actually. I didn't have to go through this entire brown section. Cool. Oh, there you're at. Hi. There you guys are. Oh, he's thinking for considering. Oh, okay, okay. That makes sense. Wait, the rocket's in there? Yeah, now, now we don't have to worry about the stupid frog. <laughs> I smile my little eye. The spiggly spark of treasure. Hmm, what's this switch doing here? Oh no, is it like a red switch? Why did you flip it? Oh, is it supposed to be moving again? Oh dear. <laughs> what? We're just watching it? Um, you should probably get out of the middle. Hi, Shine. Hello, hello. Oh, dang. <laughs> he was like, nope, not gonna have it. Ah, uh, the remote control! This stupid remote control doesn't work! You don't think he was lying, do you? Uh, uh, let me take a look. Ah, it's out of power. Give me a sec. There. T try it again. What? What are we looking? Is everything supposed to go? Qu a quiz time? Huh? What's going on? Hello and good evening, my delectable little maggots. And welcome to Solomon's wonderful game of knowledge where no one at all dies. <laughs> what a great quiz. Okay, name. Ma Ma maggots, it's not very nice. How remarkably insightful of you, Mr. Socially Maladroit. <laughs> I'm guessing this is a pre- Wait a minute, we're actually doing a quiz? What is going on? <laughs> okay. My day was going well. Um, it was my day off today, so I was just chilling and relaxing. I saw a lot of uh, Final Fantasy 16 uh, playthroughs. So there's that. <laughs> I couldn't help but notice a significant drop in viewers lately. So for this episode, I'm proud to announce that I'm offering a special prize. What could this special prize be, I wonder? Perhaps Lord Solomon's coveted treasure. Oh, work. <sighs> well, I mean, work is how you get your money, so... <laughs> Or maybe it's a lamp capable of granting your deepest desires. Or could it even be a get out of harvest free card? Wait, isn't that supposed to be like a get out of jail free card? Okay. Beep! Wrong, wrong, all oh, wrong! None of those bringing old things could ever have the privilege of being called a special pronounce. Quite, Lakosh, uh, uh, Lakosh, 
precocious for an evil mastermind. I thought he'd be a lot scarier. No, the special prize is none other than the one, the only rocket that once belonged to Isabel. I f is this like a pre-recording or something? I don't understand what's going on. You heard that right, my darling maggots. I'm referring to that, Isabel. Rocket? Did you hear that? He said rocket. I can already feel your little fingers wringing themselves with desire. Then let us begin this 560th episode what? <laughs> of Solomon's wonderful game of knowledge. And oh, it's too long to say the rest. <laughs> and why don't you make it that long to begin with? First question. The largest port in the east, referred to as the shining pearl of the coast, is where? Is it a White Whale Bay or B, Esther City Harbor? I know, it's so weird. White Whale Bay or one of the names of old? Yes! What do you think, Daniel? I, I remember White Whale Bay from the first time we met, met, met Sam. Oh. Such speed! Should we choose A2? Wait, wait! I can't help but feel this. This might be a trap. Though, it may have once been a harbor. That region is now a forested sprawl of mountain. No, I believe Esther City Harbor may be the answer we're looking for. Then let's choose B. I know. <laughs> Alright. We're going B, Esther City Harbor. Are you maggots ready for the answer? It is white. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh, I lost that. Oof. Anyone who answered wrong is a foolish twit. Ouch. I'm hurt now. Ouch. We were wrong. Gosh. Jeez. Not even the, those monkeys could have gotten such an easy question wrong. Anyone who'd expect to win the special prize by answering such easy questions is an equally as foolish twit, but I digress. Second question. The road to Esther City is shrouded in a strange fog. What is it that the frog, not the frog, the fog robs it from us? Is it A, direction, or B, time? This one's so hard. What are we gonna choose, Daniel? Uh, I, I guess maybe direction? When I was just driving the iron carbine, I could barely see through the fog. Huh? I, I guess I'll choose direction too then. I pick time. <laughs> Boing. Are you ready for the answer is time? Yes. I got the right answer this time. Ooh! Surely no one was imbecile enough to actually choose direction. <laughs> right then, the warm up is over, shall we? <laughs> Speed things up a bit. Third question What is the ultimate goal for us harvesters? A. To destroy mankind, or B. To create a new, more advanced mankind? I feel like it's. <laughs> I feel like it's to destroy mankind and then make new advanced mankind. That certainly took a dark turn. It did, didn't it? Oh, dang! Sam was like, yeah, A, A's the answer. <laughs> Sam already answered? Why does this feel so serious all of a sudden? At any rate, shall we go with B? <laughs> no! The harvest does nothing but destroy. Of course, of course. I was only joking. <gasps> oh! <laughs> it feels like B? You want to do B? Alright, alright. We'll do B. Create a new mankind. And the answer is, of course, to create a new, more advanced mankind. That's wrong, <laughs> Sam. You're not creating a new anything. All you do is destroy. That's right, Sam. You tell them. I imagine a few dullards in the audience likely answered that question wrong. But what more could you expect? Animals like you couldn't dream of understanding. <laughs> oh, oh. Thank you, thank you for the sub, Mimi. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> 
Animals like you couldn't dream of understanding the sheer complexities of us higher beings. At any rate, we're rapidly approaching the show's climax. It's time for the final question. A question that transcends time. The ultimate question of the universe. When the world descends into the darkest of darkest, who is it that shall be its guiding light? Is it A, Lord Solomon, or B, Lord Solomon? <laughs> oh my god. Wow, does he really think highly of himself like that? Okay. Let me hear you shout your answer to the world. <laughs> okay. I don't even want to answer this one. Yeah, same as Sam. <laughs> I'm afraid we must if we have any hope of finding that rocket. Oh no! <laughs> uh, uh, it's such a hard question. How do you see none of the above? <laughs> but sadly, I can't. Well, aren't you Mr. Confident? Uh, fine. Alright, now then, let's take a look at all of your beautiful little answers. At any rate, you did manage to answer the ultimate question of the universe correctly. So I'll just go ahead and give you the prize anyway. Wait, what? That rocket looks like it needs to be repaired. <laughs> this is it. This is Isabelle's rocket. And a really and a real one this time. How fortuitous. Uh fortuitous. Fortuitous? Now we should have plenty of power. I don't like his face. He looks like a skeleton. Skull face. Okay. Really? I know, I know. It definitely needs extreme repair. That's the speed of the iron carbine and the explosive power of the rocket. It just might work. The only problem is the fuel. Do we have enough for both? There's no way to know until we try. Daniel! Yes, sir? I leave the rest to you. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Is that is that it? Oh, is this like our farewell? They're here. Uh, it's our fa farewell, just like our last area, uh, last time we were at. What's this? Everyone here? Ah, oh, thank you for the pop tart. Oh, I don't. Okay, I need to grab one. Okay, let's see. Which flavor should I have? There's blueberry, brown cinnamon, brown sugar cinnamon, strawberry, cherry. Strawberry? Don't do strawberry this time. <laughs> Give me a moment to chew this. No, I just took one bite, but it's like so dry. <laughs> I have to chew it, I can't talk. <clears throat> Eastward on, on the midnight train. Huh? What's that? Ah, uh, I mean, I could. You know what? That's a great idea. I should have a pop tart counter, a bong timer, a hydrate timer, <laughs> or a counter. All right, all right. I, I th I'll, I'll think about that tomorrow. Or I'll do it tomorrow since it's my day off. The name of our next blockbuster production, darling. That's right. We've decided to immortalize your endeavors in the film. Vis bitter visitors from the world of fog. To crush the shackles of time. <laughs> that sounds good. And who saved the world from destruction? You guys. It's just like you said, isn't it? Disaster befell your city. And now you're journeying to Esther City to save your friend, are you not? A feat you'll have no problem accomplishing, darlings. Yeah, we'll definitely be able to do it. Good luck. I await news of your glorious victory with bated breath. 
and we'll wait for you to return before holding the grand premiere. All right, we'll be done with this chapter. This is most likely a chapter in for this one. I think we're on chapter seven after this. Perfect, and the brakes are ready and raring to go too. As, at, as always, my animatronic associate. It was actually easier than I expected, but what a weird ro rocket. The power unit itself is simple, but it has three emergency escape systems? Curious, I suppose whoever designed it must have been greatly concerned for the pilot. At any rate, Oh yeah, this game is 20 hours with main storyline, and I think like if you add the um, side side quests and whatnot, um, I think it's like 25 hours. It appears though, it has, it has appear where go for lunch, as they say. And I'm like I'm like at like 18, I think 18 hours. You know what? Let me pause that real quick. How many hours am I in? I'm at almost 18 hours, yeah, uh-huh, yep. Is the rocket even working? Yep, yep, I definitely have a few to go. I don't feel any difference. The rocket consumes a surprising amount of fuel, so we should save it to the crucial moment. Impeccable work, Daniel. Now then, where is that harsh opponent of ours? There, 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 there. <laughs> the, the fog. Uh oh, it's time. Oh, I see the rocket on top. <laughs> oh, the fog. Seems our old friend is here to pay a visit. Yet again. It is. It's it's the ghost. Oh no, it, it even has a rocket too. What the heck? <laughs> Daniel, Daniel, prepare for battle. Roger that. Increasing speed. Oh. Definitely will. It definitely will. Output 50%, 70%, 90% full speed ahead. Okay. Is a rocket being used? Oh, it is. What the heck? Dang. Oh, even the ro even the other train has a rocket. Oh, it's going too. <laughs> How do you beat something like that? Thank you, thank you for the hydrate. It's catching up. Activating a rocket propulsion system. Wait, you haven't activated yet? It looks like it's been activated. What? Oh, what the heck? Oh, that's cool. I don't know how that... Oh, and it's still catching up? Wow. Still gaining on us? Faster! We need to go faster! <laughs> the, the cooling system can't keep up. The engine's gonna give. Ooh, it's shaking. What's that big red button? <laughs> In the middle of the screen. <laughs> If only I had that old coin of mine. Wait, coin? Oh, hi Sam. Press it? No, don't press it. <laughs> the, the heat, it's stabilizing. Wait, what did Sam just do? What happened? Don't mind that. Just get this mo thing moving as fast as it can go. Yep, yep, that's true, that's true, Mimi. Oh, we're getting close-up view now. Oh, it's sparking! Oh, jeez! Oh, dang. Um, what is going on? It looks like we've lost it. Wow, it actually worked. Then it, sh it would appear we've succeeded. At this rate, we'll be at Esther City in no time. Okay, okay. And... Oh... How 
do you define cold? Is it a low temperature or the absence of temperature, temperature altogether? As their city is cold to the point that time itself has frozen. At the other edge of the world, hope and perseverance go and unanswered. The way back is covered in snow. And on the horizon, a candlelight flickers. What is that? Could that be Isabel? Could Alva be there? Hurry, John. We need to catch up with that light. And usually we have this at the end of a chapter. So, right? Yes, Monk Hollywood. Cheap and unlocked. Yay. Now we are on to chapter seven. Let me see. Let me see. I think we're on chapter seven now. Yeah, we are on chapter seven now. Okay, cool. Cliffhanger. <laughs> All right, that's in the stream. Bye. <laughs> I won't do that to you guys. Well, that, that is until uh, at the end of the stream. <laughs> How dreadfully chilly. Oh. Peek your curious eyes outside if you would, my friends. It would seem no one's here. No, don't throw tomatoes at me. <laughs> I like that. I like that emote. Oh, is that snow? It's so white. What is it? That, my lady, is snow. We've arrived then at last. Esther City. <clears throat> oh. Why is there an eye in the middle of that thing? Station 22, I'm guessing. What? Why do I hear the sound of school school bells? Okay, it's not my imagination. I do hear it. Wait, what's going on? How did we get here? Wait, what the heck? Ah? Wait, is this a dream or something? What? <laughs> oh no, it is not. Were you a good man, a bad man? It matters not. For today, you lie in the ground. Whether your name lives on or is forgotten in time, it's all the same to you now. Farewell, Professor Solomon. May you now become one with the past. Oh, th this took a turn south. But I'm, I'm glad we're mourning Solomon, but okay. Why is there gargoyles? John, what is this place? <laughs> That's what I want to know. You, you guys like teleported. What the heck? Didn't we just arrive at Esther City? What happened? Where are Daniel and William? Where's the iron carbine? Wait, I know. Let's try calling the, son the Sonic Punk. No response? Don't tell me the Sonic Punk is gone too. Hey, can you hear me? Mr. The Sonic Punk! Oh, with the shouting and the hollering at person's funeral, no less. You humans, you think you'd have at least a shred of dignity at a time like this. <laughs> Not even a flower from the old man. What is that you call a sacrilege? It really is. <laughs> yep, there's a little robot that follows us. It's called Mr. Sonic Punk. <laughs> then this is what you humans are like, is it? You said this was a funeral? Whose funeral is it? You don't even know that, do you? 
What do you think you're doing here anyway? Uh, I guess we don't really know that either. Humans, <laughs> always are the promising and the valent, but ain't worth. But ain't a one of them worth a damn. I don't like his speech. <laughs> it's so weird. Now you listen right here, you bag of bones. This slipping right here is none other than my great and mighty and all-knowing inventor he was. Greatest thinker in Esther City. This guy was wisdom personified. You got it? You ain't gonna find a more dis distinguished scientist in, uh, in Allah the world. <laughs> oh my god. Please, stop going so fast. <laughs> <laughs> the one and only Solomon. Not Solomon again. Again? <sighs> if ever there was a soul sharing the name of my master, well, let's just say they better be d pretty damn appreciative. You mentioned Esther City earlier. Is this Esther City? This? This here is the island of time, located at the end of the world, it is. Every last one of Esther City's greatest mind is buried here. I know you must feel quite sad right now, but we really need to get to Esther City. <sighs> Would you listen to this? Not even a word of sympathy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Especially when fog gets involved, definitely. Just straight on with asking and the abandon. Fine, you know what? I don't even care. South of here, you'll find a dock. The boat there will take you to Esther City. Thank you very much. Could I ask your name? Ah, <sighs> finally a shred of manners. The name's Floyd, eternal servant of the great Solomon. Thank you, Mr. Floyd. Well, we're here. There are countless memories in here, some even older than me. But I'm afraid that no one will ever load them again. Uh, man, you let let uh, let those get buried. All right. Um, I want to see if I can interact with anything since we're in the graveyard. Hmm. I'm not seeing anything, and I wish I could sort of run. All right. I guess we can. Let's go up then and speak to him. Hi. Finally finished. Ready to head back to the city, are we? Charon passes through the city tomorrow, you know. If you don't start preparing now, preparing now, you'll miss all the festivities. Oh, okay. So that means there's a festival going on at the city? Okay. Let's go check it out then. Oh, there's a place to cook. Looks like we are... We are on... Near body of water. John, my boy! Oh, is this William? Wait. Captain? Pam? Get your ass over here, you two. We about to set sail. These are new new, new characters, I think. But what about dear Floyd? <laughs> Bloke said he wanted a bit more time on the island. <sighs> the poor bastard. Losing Professor Solomon really did a number on his heart. <laughs> Chaps! Don't you be paying that old tin can any heed. It's time to weigh anchor. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely profanity in this game. Especially you, John the boy. Plenty of work awaits you back on solid land. Yeah, ha 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 ha. Uh, excuse me, but... It ain't time to be asking questions, my dear. Don't you remember the pirate code? Treasures unsurpassed, no question asked. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> okay, come on lads, it's time to hit the waves. While this game is cute, it definitely has some mature vibes. <laughs> really? I, I was, I was uh, doing profanity last stream, you guys didn't hear? <laughs> there were some uh, choice words there. <laughs> Make sure you close the door tonight and you'll all pop head. Pothead. Elsa win a blower right off. <laughs> Fog's awful heavy out there today. Be careful, Captain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Such weird sound effects. Oh yeah, this game is probably maybe PG-13. Yeah, definitely, probably. Well, didn't you see the last scene? I think it was a scene of the 20, uh, 21 plus room. 
<laughs> oh, come on, Mimi, you are there, I think. <laughs> come on with me, you two. We don't want to be keeping our client waiting now, do we? <laughs> oh, you did. Okay, I see. <laughs> Sp Spock, me old friend. Bought some workers for you. Yeah, I have. It's low one, Sam. And this one with a grand moustache is... <laughs> John, glad he be. You weak... You wee jackanape, my boy. John, a couple of rough and ready, bright and... Oh my, I cannot talk like this. A couple of rough and ready, bright-eyed and bush-tailed workers. If ever I've, se I've, be I've seen one, some. <laughs> you two listen to Sapak now, you hear? He be the experts around here. But we need to go find Isabel. Right then, it's a pock and boy. You go easy on these greenhorns now. Don't want to scare them away. <laughs> Don't go thinking that just because you know the captain. That I'm not gonna grill you hard. The work ain't gonna do itself. <laughs> now then, I've got three pieces of mail need to be delivered. First one, address to Lena at the Esther Hotel. Second one needs to go to Agu. He's an engineer. Around this time, he's probably over at Mama Jazz. As for the last one, it's gonna be a bit more difficult. Need to go to the guy over at Red Rocket Repair. And don't you go misplacing any letters again, got it? I want letter to hand delivery. Letter to hand. Oh, jeez, dude. Okay. All right. Oh, right. And take this. Esther City Logistics? Is that a map of the city? Oh, I got achievement Jack of All Trades? Wait, how do I unlock that? What the heck? Try all five jobs with John? Oh, okay, so that means we've already done four different jobs. So that means this fifth one is being a delivery man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me see, I'm not seeing anything important. Done with your work. 10 ain't time to be lazy about now. Uh, okay dude, bye. Oh, we have so many different characters. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, dock number five. Three places to talk to. Does he have no arms? Oh, that's sad. Bored, bored, bored. Life on land is like running circles around a cane. Yeah, you're right, you're right. The the job number four is being an actor. Uh-huh. Uh, John didn't exactly get a choice. <laughs> Always stuck in the same gardened place. What's that? Why don't you go out to sea? Huh. Now you're asking the right questions. I actually must admit that I get terribly seasick. <laughs> you weren't expecting that, were you? Imagine a seasick sailor. Uh, I guess you just aren't taking the right uh, medicine. Oh, we have some new um, <laughs> new things to uh, try our luck on. Uh, the top prize, the second prize. Yeah, yeah. There's the top prize we need and then the mummy. Uh, that's the second prize. I know, I know. And he was like, I'm going to just roll with it. Yep, definitely. <laughs> all right, time to try my luck. I'm not going to waste all my tokens. Don't tell me this is the mummy. Oh dang, I, I've been like so happy if that was the mommy. I want that top prize. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Give me the top prize. Oh, I don't want to waste 21 tokens for this. Oh, three tokens more. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to waste 24 tokens now. <laughs> come on. Uh, come on, I don't want the one tier ones because I already got them. Come on, come on. Give me something good. One. <sighs> I know, I know, it sucks. And yet we're so gullible. Two. Oh, maybe a third row would be nice. The mummy, please. Okay, cool, I got the mummy. Now I just need the top tier prize. Just three, three notches. One. Two. Oh my god! Jeez! <laughs> wow! 
I got it. <laughs> wow, I got it. I'm done. I didn't have to waste so many uh, tokens. Wow. All right, good, good. Okay. Hey folks, here to play Earthborn 2. <laughs> well, it just so happens that people call me Professor Earthborn. Name's Achi. What? You don't believe me? Well, you listen right here, you young punks. I've been here since Earthborn was first created, and I've seen countless folks trying their best to figure this game out. But not a one of them understands Earthborn like I do. <laughs> have I beaten it? <laughs> of course not. I haven't even played it. Uh, wait, so then how can you call yourself like a master of Earthborn if you never played Earthborn? born okay but that doesn't mean i don't understand it on a deep personal level uh okay dude <laughs> okay how about you guys oh yo ho john are you coming to my presentation tomorrow i'll be showing off a brand new type of fruit and you'll even be able to eat it oh you're not talking about that sand droop are you <gasps> i don't know what you how you can call something that inedible a fruit? Don't you be putting down the sand droop. It's one tough cookie. Barely needs any light. Can even grow underground. I'm telling you, it's the fruit of the future. If that's what I have to look forward to in the future, well, I might as well just get off this train right now. <laughs> I feel you, dude. Uh, I feel you. All right, all right. So thing is that we already, like, um, previously we already got Sandro, so so it looks like we're gonna get more Sandro, which is good actually, because I know there's a few recipes that I miss getting Sandro on. That was sort of my fault. I was sort of rushing that intro tutorials. <laughs> okay, all right. So I want to get that, but the thing is they are blocking my way. Okay, so I can't see anything. Can I go from like the back? Hmm. No, I don't think I can. Let me see if I can go through here. Ah, no, I can't. All right. So it looks like I want to see if there's anyone else to talk to south of here. Oh, there's the boat. I know, I know. It's like, why? Why? There's that delectable looking box of salt. That's the currency here. And I can't get it. Oh, well. Oh, is it freezing? <laughs> Winter always seemed to last forever here in Esther City. But the warmth of the people here sure make up for it, particularly after they've had a drink or two. Oh, that's nice. Despair is like the ice in your memories. Until you're able to forget, the ice will never thaw. I mean, do you really want to forget? There are some memories you shouldn't forget. Oh, there's another chest, and I can't get it. What? What the heck? I think, you know, I think it's back here actually. Ah, there it is. Cool. So, <laughs> I know there it is. <laughs> so that's the hotel that we need to go to. Oh my God, I could kick this? <gasps> Whoa, <laughs> it's just some random ball I could kick. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> okay, all right, let's go to the hotel and deliver the first package. You look bored. I'm sorry you had to be there. <laughs> um. Owie! You listen to me, little missy. You like your sweets, you better brush your teeth. Otherwise, you'll end up just like me. Ow, it hurts, it hurts. You there? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Let me tell you a secret. My sister and I, we have powers. We can see straight into your future. How about it? Want to hear what's in store for you? Your future awaits. Uh, uh, don't listen to those two. Nothing but con artists, the both of them. You look happy now. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, I can see. I can see. You two climb the tower, a tall tower. At the top of which lay an otter of evil. <laughs> Here we go again. A brilliant performance, Emma. 
Don't interrupt her, Lena. How are you supposed to get money for tonight's room if we don't want, don't work? Well, um, Mimi, if you actually just want to stream on your console, you can actually just get a maybe like a Steam Deck. Because then you can go and stream from your console as long as you have a game capture uh, to go from console to your uh, to your Steam Deck. There, there's a uh, YouTube tutorials on how to do that. If you want to do that, if you don't, and a Steam Deck is actually, I think, it's even more powerful than like um, than my PC. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Uh-huh, yep, yep. Because I'm using a Steam Deck, but the specs on the Steam Deck is so much better than my PC that, that you can definitely stream on your Steam Deck as long as you have all the um, right components and whatnot to do it through there. I just can't keep a straight face when she does that. Hello there. Our home is your home here at Esther City. Though, I'm afraid we're all out of rooms at the moment. Excuse me, ma'am. But you wouldn't happen to be Lena, would you? You caught me. <laughs> I'm Lena. What can I do for do you for, though? We have a delivery for you. Delivery? Oh, it must be that new album I ordered. Uh oh, it's just a New Year's card from Mom. Oh well, thanks for delivering it anyway. One second. What? W what are you looking for? The time? Uh, I like your name, Brownie. <laughs> right then. Hmm, you two from Captain. What is it then? Another book for me? Uh, what? Wait, I can enter through these rooms? <laughs> And talk to people randomly? Cool! <laughs> okay. Oh, look who it is. What beautiful white hair. Just like the snow outside the window. Delivering mail from the captain today? Here, to deliver our things even on such a cold, wintry day. You two are truly dil diligent little workers. Oh, wait, are you dancing? Oh, cool. Afternoon delivering today's mail, are you? We're looking for Isabel. Isabel? Hmm, I know a substantial amount of people around here. When you're a dancer, it comes with the territory. Really? It does? But I must admit, I've never heard of this Isabel. Really? Don't lose heart. If your friend is still here in Esther City, I'm sure you'll find her. Uh, great, thank you. Don't make me, uh, have me disturb you on dancing. I think this is the last one. WC. The toilet again. <laughs> I don't know why I can still do this. Okay. Room 301. Let's check that out. Oh, looks like a little family. My name's Lassie, and this is my brother, Rand. Rand. Our village was destroyed by the miasma. That was about a month ago now. Everyone keeps telling us that Esther City is the safest place to be. But I, I just can't seem to relax here. I'll protect you, sis. Beam of justice! <laughs> That's hilarious. You two are here to see the professor next door, are you? I don't think we are. He's got a mean temper, but deep down, he's a good man. I saw the ghost. It, it was going to his room. Don't say things like that. I'm sorry. He won't stop going on about ghosts, this and fairies, that. I, I'm not making it up. I saw it. I did. A ghost with a sword on its back. Just like, just like in the stories. A knight. It was definitely a knight. Was that Isabel? Because I know Isabel has a sword on her back. The door is locked and there's no way to open it. Oh, thanks game. <laughs> An actual room that we can't enter. All right, cool. Or it, it's interable, but it's not letting us enter it. Wait, can I enter here? Oh, never mind. There was room. <laughs> okay. All right. So it looks like. Can I go down? Oh, I can. I don't want to check the area though yet. It looks like 
yeah, so I'm gonna need to go down, but I wanna check out the other areas. Ah, oh, there's a path over here or something. Okay. Hey, dude, what's up? Auto. Okay, Mama Bread, the taste of home cooking right where you're looking. Give it a try. Oh. A sturdy food stuff that can be used as building material? What the heck? <laughs> How do you chew that then if it's as sturdy as building material? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go and upgrade our, uh, upgrade a weapon or something. Okay, so we have cog upgrade, flame upgrade, ammo expansion, bomb expansion. I know, I know, it's definitely gonna be super hard. I think for this one though, I'm actually gonna do ammo box expansion. Mm -hmm. I don't really do a lot of bombs. Like, it seems like, like when I fight a boss, I'm not doing bombs. It's mainly just the guns and the pan, so yeah. Woohoo! Is that it? Let me see. Okay, now for the next one, I mean, I guess I could do go and do another bomb expansion. Uh, but I think I want to do a flame upgrade or maybe a cog upgrade. It's one of these two. <sighs> I don't really do a lot of flames. Oh, hi, Japard. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing good. Um. I don't really do use a lot of cog, uh, cog weapons, because I guess... Uh, you know what? Because this would be like a good... Uh, you know what, I think I'll just do a flame upgrade for this one. Okay, so that looks good. Alright, so we got that done. It looks like there's an area we can go up north. But it's stopped by a cleaning bot. Okay. I could get tokens? No freaking way. <laughs> Buying. <laughs> oh, I think I wasted so much. <laughs> oh. I wasted a lot of money now. Whoops. <laughs> I got too I got too excited. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um. Let Let's go before I spend more money. <laughs> okay. Is this p place so really so great when it comes to operations? No. No. Don't bunk. Wait. Did it not work? Wait. Did the bunk not work? Or did it work? I didn't see it. <laughs> it did? Okay, okay. Uh, I mean, you could have said no, Shine. I could bunk myself <laughs> again. <laughs> oh well, lost opportunity. <laughs> you even have to ask. And after all we've gone through to get here, just look at that snow, taking that smell of suit. <laughs> This is the one and only Esther City. Then, then I'll, I'll finally be able to be a normal kid. Huh? Oh, it's Sam. Greetings, both of you. Can you guess what we've found? This repair shop. It's here that we'll be able to have Daniel's operation. Oh, Daniel's gonna have an operation? Uh, uh, um, well, we're still missing a part. Yes, but the boss here has ordered the required chip. The operation shall proceed once it arrives. Order the chip? John, you don't think it could be this package we're supposed to deliver, do you? <laughs> I think it is. Uh, thank you for the pop tart. Nom nom. Thanks for the hydrate, just what I needed. <sighs> wow, 
Welcome to Red Rocket Repair. You want something repaired? You need to book an appointment. We're here to make a delivery. Delivery? Then it's here. Boss! The chip's here! Guess this really was the chip. Tell him to come inside. Boss says, come in. We can do the operation. Um, but I heard your boss. Do you really need to tell us that? <laughs> oh, really? That's wonderful. Come, Daniel. C coming. Uh, so is Daniel happy to get this upgrade or not? <laughs> well, you're the one that's redeeming uh, Pop-Tarts. <laughs> hey, what are you staring at, huh? The operation's over. Let's head back to the Iron Carbine. It looks the same. <laughs> is that you, Sam? I thought you were a snowman for a second. <gasps> oh! Oh, Daniel. Daniel. Um, he got an upgrade in, in his, um, I think it is, uh, maybe his voice module or something? Because he's not, um, uh, being nervous. What are you guys doing here? Oh, it's also maybe like confidence. Yeah. I think maybe got a software upgrade too. Come to think of it, it's, it's pretty cold here in Esther City, huh? Uh, then the operation went well? Uh, well, it went more than well. I feel wired, holy cow, I feel like I could lift a horse. Hey, William, chop chop. Oh dang, Daniel is like chop chop to his own. <laughs> uh, William should make sure he uh, doesn't smack Daniel again. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you in the dust if you don't hurry it up. Dang, it's like it's like Daniel got uh <laughs> got an attitude now. Uh, Daniel's acting a bit weird, don't you think? Yes, it's um side effects of the operation, I suppose. Lee William. <laughs> At any rate, I'm being caught. I must bid the both of you adieu. Yeah, yeah, he definitely flipped a 180 on that. Excuse me, but can I ask how the operation went? Oh, went pretty smooth, however... Uh, what? However... Well, that ship we had express ordered... I think there might have been something wrong with the feedback circuit. It's supposed to enhance the robot's emotions, right? But if you enhance those emotions too much, well, everything becomes a bit exaggerated. Oh, um, so <laughs> I'm guessing he's not supposed to be acting like that now. You're Captain Pam's little delivery bees, aren't you? Still delivering letters at this hour. Granny has already finished delivering her milk, even had time to recycle the bottles. Oh, that's good for you. I could go up. Oh, you too! Delivering mail for Captain Pam, are you? All you need to find on the other side of this bridge is the train graveyard. <laughs> I actually have Heavy Rain on my list of games to play. I actually have the game. <laughs> where can I- where is it? There it is. <laughs> Nobody you're looking for there. Uh, okay. Thank you for telling us, I guess. Oh, oh, there's something beeping at me. What? Where? Where? Where is it? Where's that beeping noise coming from? Oh, it's right here. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I was uh, making sure. I thought you were maybe on mobile or something. Because that doesn't show up on mobile for some odd reason. It's only when you're on like a website, I think. Or, or a website instead of a, the app, the, the, uh, the Twitch app. Climate cools, joints, freezes, freeze, can't function properly. How did you like my performance? Pretty good, huh? Wait, he's a report. Wait, what? I'm a robot ethicist. What? Oh, that's that's weird. Okay, I'm a robot ethicist. Name's Patty. 
Oh, you're seeing it? What? That's so weird. Let me see. Let me see if I can load it up. Go to my profile. Go to the about section. I don't see it. Oh. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Okay, I need, I see. So the, pa so the, so it's not my bow section. It's actually okay. Cool. I, th I thought it wouldn't show her for some reason. Okay, cool. Okay, I found it. I found what you're talking about. My theory to study robots: you first have to become a robot. Humans, puh, you really know nothing. You see, robots is nothing but a flock of stiff jointed imitations. Pathetic. You need to work on your delivery, my friend. A robot would never be able to speak the way you did just now. Let me show you how it's done. Humans, pa, you know nothing. You have a screw loose. <laughs> okay. Pavlova's cake, dog bee cream puffs. Oh, interesting. Dog bees cream puffs, sweeter than love itself. Really? I want to taste it then. I can't. I want to talk to you, dude. Or. Okay, whatever. What's the most important thing when a disaster approaches? Why, an apple storage of foodstuffs, of course. For us robots, that means enough ethanol to sh shake a stick at. But not for me, nope. I am done with the alcohol, I am. I don't want any at all. Definitely don't want any at all. I think you want some, dude. <laughs> You're still not done. Uh, I can't take any more. Just pick something already. What's wrong with strawberry? Oh, <laughs> better like strawberry too. But I had strawberry yesterday. Then what about watermelon? Don't you remember? We had watermelon the day before yesterday. And the day before that, banana. And before that, we had strawberry, lemon, grape. <laughs> uh, you know what? Whatever. I'm just gonna stop talking. <laughs> you just take your sweet old time picking something out. Okay. <laughs> Tomorrow's cane will be a top-rate cashier, but today's cane just wants to take a nap. Uh, I don't think that's. I don't think that's the attitude you should have. <laughs> if you want something, you should find it yourself. Wow, okay. What the heck? I could buy vodka? <gasps> Whoa, okay. Braised pork, pavlova cake. Oh, backpack expansion. I'm gonna buy that. <clears throat> I know, I know. He needs to be fired, definitely. Okay, buy it again. I don't think I have enough um, salt now. I actually don't think I have enough. Oh wait, no, no, I think I got the end. <gasps> Oh, I think that's it. No, no more backpack expansions. I got the max amount of stuff. Nice. Cool, cool. All right. There is all sorts of ingredients. <gasps> Ribs. Buy all that. Clams. Buy all that. Milk. I don't have any. Apples. Buy all that. Carrots. I'm going to... Tandroops. Ooh. All right. Oh, wait, wait. That's a new spice I, I just saw. Uh, vodka gives me four increased health hearts well what raised pork gives me five red hearts so i mean oh well i'm gonna buy this one actually just one spice hot it's electric cold is it hot <laughs> sweeten up your life S steamy kernel of spice okay sounds like a rhyme all right we're gonna make something and now that we got a few new ingredients uh, we can go and see if I can make something new. We have three new slots and I still have recipes to make. So what I'm first going to do is with Sandroop. We're not making Sandroop pasta. Uh, let me see. Let's see if there's anything new. Team fish. Okay, maybe instead of that, we could do maybe something like this. Mm, 
All right, so instead of lemon, maybe we could have tomatoes instead. Am I like not gonna be able to make anything? Uh, how about daikon? Hmm. Clams? Really? I can't make a new recipe? That's weird. Hmm. How about ribs? Well, what about what about ribs and okay? You know what? How about all ribs? <gasps> oh, there it is. We got it. I don't know why I need to do three ribs to do this, but okay. Let's see what it is. Am I lucky enough with this slot machine? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, two in a row. I mean, I mean it's something, but I want three in a row. Yeah, I don't like. I don't like that. <laughs> It's, it's not fun to have your controls be not what you wanted to. Like when I was playing Earthbound, oh my god, and you get the mushroom on your head. Um, yeah, going left does not make you go left for some odd reason. Like, I don't like it. Red braised pork belly. A complicated dish, the likes of which only accomplished chefs like John can master. Ooh, okay. Let's try something else. Oh, we got it. How about clams? Let's see. Hmm, maybe um, sand droops, daikon. I'm not seeing any new recipes. In fact, what I see is that I think all of these are basically um, like like for these, these are just general type of recipes. But now I need to actually get like like um like specific ingredients and I'm not gonna sit here and do that. <laughs> I might actually just look it up. But so, oh well. What I'm gonna instead do is just make something um, that I have apple supplies for. You know what, I'll do seafood. Crap, I didn't mean to do that. We're gonna do seafood seafood. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with uh, looking it up. All right, I'm gonna go and make. Oh, I don't have any more seafood. Crap. <laughs> well, oh no, I do have fish. Um, I might actually do these dumplings, seafood and meat. Oh yeah, I don't have meat. Crap. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I don't have meat. No meat. No meat. Okay. What do you do this? Seafood and dairies. There you go. We're gonna do a seafood chowder. <sighs> Still not three in a row. I want to see what three in a row looks like, but it's just not letting me. Okay. This health isn't just not that great. What the heck? Ah. Oh. All right. Like the health gain the pit, uh, compared to my actual health is just not that much, but oh well, I mean, it's something. The, the braised thing, uh, I forgot what it's called, um, the red braised pork belly gives 12 health and I love that, that's amazing, like, wow. Let's see, alright, so we need to go here and speak to, or go inside Mother Jazz. Oh, it is? I never had that before. <laughs> you heard the bird. Livy is supposed to give her presentation here tomorrow. Who's Livy? You? How could you not know the bot botany queen? I've been lining up here since yesterday just to make sure I got a good seat. My favorite food? It is, um, um, it's basically steamed dumplings and soup. So uh, it's basically called mandu gook. And, and there's like, um, uh, fish, not fish cakes. Yeah, no, I wait, is it fish cakes? Yeah, I think it is. Mm -hmm. A single person is in a line. You think something as fussy, fuss budgety as the quote, as that's gonna quell my passion for the botany queen. Oh, I like that jazz. That's a nice jazz. Here for a drink or two. 
I'm afraid I won't be able to join you. This guy here is allergic to alcohol, you see. Ouch, I don't want to be him. <laughs> if you want to drink, you drink. All I want to do is go home and sleep. <laughs> oh, don't be so cold. I'm not going anywhere anyway. Care to hear about how my research is going? I recently discovered a new star, but I'm struggling to come up with a name for it. You are an author, are you, aren't you? Help me come up with a name. <laughs> Why bother? Your boss will just veto it anyway. <laughs> You'll never know if you don't try. Looks like it. Why, why, why is his hand like that? <laughs> okay. Uh, the jazz here in Esther City is simply divine. Oh, good for you. I so love people watching on the street. I look at their physique and I wonder, how might I use those two hands of mine to recreate their forms? This idea of breaking and shaping at will. Such an enticing thought, yes? Hmm, it's certainly interesting. As a novelist, I too have such impulses that infringe upon the world. Uh, you should keep those thoughts yourself. <laughs> Excuse me, but you wouldn't be Mr. Agu, would you? <laughs> what? Why, yes, that's me. Why? Oh, great. We have a delivery for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's definitely creepy. Delivery? Stupendous! This month's issue has finally arrived, has it? Wait, what? Let me see, let me see! My article should definitely, definitely be in here! I'm guessing not. What? Why isn't it here? Do the editors not fully comprehend the value of my theory? Oh, unfortunate. I guess not. <laughs> I mean, there's not much you can do if you're cut out. Oh wow, didn't I have like a thousand something? I have 125 now, and I didn't even realize. Maybe I should have bought all those tokens. Oh well. We are finished delivering. We can go and fast travel to the dock number 5. Oh, hi dude. Already finished, are ya? Quite the speedy, del uh, speedy little devils, I see. A natural talent for delivery. Now then, I've got one last thing for ya to deliver. This one needs to go to Ivan at the Esther Hotel. Again? Wait, wait. I now hear school bells again. What? So we, we just did that job for absolutely no reason, and now we're going to go somewhere else are we wait we're back to the same spot again wait what's going on except except this time we have another robot behind us and and, and that dude wait they're gone what the heck didn't we didn't we succeed with our job what were you a good man a bad man it matters not for today you lie in the ground wait this is basically that's the same thing we just started. <laughs> Whether your name lives on or is forgotten in time, it's all the same to you now. <laughs> Farewell, Professor Solomon. May you now become one with the past. Wait, we just went back in time. Huh? How did we get back here? <laughs> That's a great question. And I, well, <laughs> even though we went back in time, I still have 125 thought. Nah, dang. That would be nice if I could get all my thought back. <sighs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, it's pretty much the same thing, right? John, my boy? It is. Wait, what? I didn't like replay my load did i what the heck but what about dear floyd bloke said he wanted a bit more time on the island the poor bastard losing professor solomon really did a number on his heart <laughs> chaps don't you be paying that old tin hat can any heed it's time to weigh anchor especially you john my boy plenty of work awaits you back on solid ground 
Uh, excuse me, what? Is Sam about to break the ice and say what the heck is going on? Then ain't time to be asking questions, my dear. <laughs> Don't you remember the pirate code? Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is basically a... They're basically saying the same thing. What the heck? Come on, lads. It's time to hit the waves. Even Sam, Sam is saying the same thing. Are we about to get the same job and deliver those three packages again? Make sure you close the uh, door goodnight tight, you old pothead. Else the wind will blow her right off. Fog's awful heavy out there today. Be careful, Captain. Uh, what? I guess we'll find out what is going on. Come with me, you two. We don't want to be keeping our client waiting now, do we? <sighs> it's legit the same thing. Brought some workers for yeah, I have. This little one, Sam, and this one with the grand moustache is... John! That he be, your wee jackanape. A boy, John. A couple of rough and ready, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed workers, I've, if I've ever seen some. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, I don't know why they would do that, but... Um, okay, we'll see how that goes. Right in, Spock, my boy. You go easy on these two greenhorns now. Don't want to scare them away. <laughs> Don't go thinking that just because you know the captain that I'm not gonna, gonna grill ha you hard. The work ain't gonna go do itself. Now then, I've got three pieces of mail need to be delivered. Oh my god. Oh. First one, address to Lena at the Astro Hotel. We just did that. Second one needs to go to Agu. He's an engineer. We just did that. Around this time, he's probably over at the Mama Jazz. As for the last one, it's gonna be a bit more difficult. He needs to go to the guy over at Red Rock Repair. And don't you go misplacing any letters again. Got it? I want letter to hand delivery. Letter to hand. Thank you, thank you for the pop star. And we got the same packages again. Yep, my spirits have been all-time low after redoing all this. Oh well. Really? <laughs> and the map shows we've been there before. <laughs> okay. Wait, is the conversation the same too? They are. <laughs> Still makes me laugh. I should probably pick someone who doesn't speak this long. Okay, it's fine done. Um, yeah, it's the exact same. Hmm, what the heck? <laughs> speed run? <laughs> I guess it is. We're gonna have to speed run this. Well, hello there. Our home is your home here at Esther Hotel. Though I'm afraid we're all out of rooms at the moment. Delivery for you, Lena. Oh, ex excellent. That arrived much faster than I expected. Hand it here, hand it here. Don't get your hopes up too much. What's that? Don't tell me you already looked inside, did you? Oh, we're about to go and inform the uh, people, the clients? Oh, <laughs> that's not gonna go well. Oh. It's just a New Year's card for my mom. I always get a little homesick this time of year. Huh. Well, that was actually a more positive ending, actually. Because she was disappointed. Huh. Oh, this again. We've got the chip for Daniel's operation. Oh my god. Sam is like, yeah, yeah. This is what's in the package. We totally didn't look at it. <laughs> huh? You the captain, guys? Boss! The chip's here! Tell him to come inside. Boss says, come in, we can do the operation. Oh, really? That's wonderful. Calm, Daniel. Is Daniel gonna c c coming? 
But I need to tell you something. It's about this chip. <gasps> oh, Sam is about to break the curse. The chip? Yeah, it's um, how did you put it? Something about the feedback circuits being over exaggerated. Feedback circuits? <laughs> Are you interested in robots, kid? Wait until we're done with this operation, okay? Then we can talk. Hurry up inside, would you, boys? Boss gets testy when he has to wait. <gasps> Is it gonna be a success and <laughs> Daniel's not gonna have an attitude? Let's see. Hey, what are you staring at, huh? The operation's over. Let's head back to the iron carbine. Um, I don't think, I don't think they fixed uh, whatever it was that was the issue. <laughs> I'm not a snowman, <laughs> Sam. Well, that's weird as all get out. It's like you knew exactly what I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, well, Sam's always been pretty mysterious. <laughs> Time to get back to the iron carbine. Hey, William, chop chop. I'm gonna leave you in the dust if you don't hurry up. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm being caught. I must bid the both of you. Adieu. And let me guess, he's gonna be like, what the heck? How do you know? You know, it's weird. It's just like you said before, kid. There was something wrong with the feedback circuits on that ship. That, it, that then it really is just like yesterday. Yesterday? We brought you the chip yesterday too. Don't guess you don't remember. Huh? Uh, anyway, is there anything we can do for Daniel to turn him back to normal? There is, but we'll need a special chip, an emotion chip. Oh, this is different actually. Emotion chip? And you know what? Let me do this. Do 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 ding. Okay, there you go. You wouldn't happen to know where we could get one, do you? If I remember correctly, the very last one is installed in a robot named Floyd, but he left to attend Solomon's funeral. Ah, he must be that robot on the island of time. Don't tell me you're heading to the island of time at a time like this. We certainly are. We need to find that emotion chip. That's the only way Daniel's operation will be successful. The problem is the ship, it only goes there once per day. So you're gonna have to wait until tomorrow. Huh, okay. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna just fast travel this. It doesn't look like there's any like, um, any areas that I need to go like, like, like cutscenes or, or like anything like that. So I'm just gonna fast travel and immediately just go in. I wonder if we're gonna go to the hotel after this, since they state that it's only till tomorrow. Mr. Aku, we have a delivery for you. Though, I think maybe you won't be too happy about it. Uh-oh, your article isn't there. What? Those damn editors, I should have known. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can see that. I can see that. Wait, 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 wait. We're going back to. Oh my god. <sighs> Alright, are, are we going to like. Tell, uh, tell, um, go back in time again? Or, or how's this going to work again? <laughs> oh no. Already finished, are you? Quite the speedy little devils, I see a natural talent for delivery. Now then, I've got one last thing for you to deliver. And this is where it's gonna happen. This one needs to go to Ivan at the Esther Hotel. And it happened again. Wow. Okay, okay. <laughs> we're, we're, it, it's just like you said, Mimi. We're, we're back. Thrice, this is the third time we're going back in time. <laughs> were you a good man? A bad man? It matters not, for today you lie in the ground. Whether your name lives on or is forgotten in time. It's all the same to you now. Farewell, Professor Solomon. May you now become one with the pest. 
Okay, so so the fact is we couldn't go back to this mountain. It wouldn't let us. But since we know that we need to go and get the Daniel's motion chip, that means we gotta speak to Floyd then. All right. Huh? Here again? Weren't we just at the dock though? Wait, the that bell. Did you hear that bell just now? It's just like before back at the station. What in the world could be going on? Look, it's Floyd over there. He should have the emotion chip. I wonder if he'll give it to us. Maybe he might actually give it to us since he doesn't want to feel that sadness with Solomon passing away. Maybe he'll give it to us. Not even a f uh, how depressing. <laughs> Is this what those emotions humans are always talking about feel like? Excuse me, Mr. Floyd. Floyd, what a nice name. But that man who gave me that name will never say it again. I'm sorry. What is it you folks need? That emotion chip. Not that guy again. I thought he was a good guy. I did. When his assistant asked me to help deliver the flowers. But I, I was wrong. Just take it, will ya? This thing ain't giving me nothing but trouble. Oh, you can, you, can, you can see the tears as well as the oil. Oh, wow. I, I feel, feel sympathy for Floyd. I'd rather just feel nothing from now on. With Solomon gone, I gotta find a new job. You guys don't know anything, do ya? Your, your face. My face? How strange. And here I shouldn't be able to feel anything anymore. But somehow the tears won't stop. There, there must be something wrong with me. Why are we happy? <laughs> Why was I unhappy getting that chip? <laughs> oh, but it's so sad that Floyd, he, he's like a, he's like a, he's not, he's not even like a main character. And yet, yeah, I'm already feeling sympathy for Floyd. I just met him like three times now. <laughs> All right, we got, we got the chip we need, so. I know, NPCs have feelings, and we felt it, big time. John, my boy. Ugh, I don't want to say this three times. Oh my god. Get your asses on here, you two. We're about to set sail. But what about dear Floyd? A bloke said he wanted a bit more time on the island. <laughs> the poor bastard. Losing Professor Solomon really did a number on his heart. Chaps, don't you be paying that old tin can any heed. This t it's time to weigh anchor. Especially you, John, my boy. Plenty of work awaits you back on solid ground. Uh, excuse me, but it ain't time to be asking questions, my dear. Don't you remember the pirate code? Treasure unsurpassed, no question asked. Come on, lads. It's time to hit the waves. Oh, oh, that old man didn't say anything. Oh, that's that's different right there. That old man did not say anything. Unless the game, the vet, the, the, the devs is actually like stopping us <laughs> from reading it three times now. Come with me, you two. We don't want to be keeping our client waiting now, do we? <laughs> Spip, uh, Spock, me old friend. Brought some workers for you, I have. This little one, Sam, and this one with a grand moustache is John. That he be, you wee jackanape, my boy, John. A couple of rough and ready, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed workers, if ever I've seen some. Wow, I said that with one breath. Yay, I didn't mess it up. <laughs> Guess third time's a charm. You two listen to Sapak now, you hear? He be the experts around here. But we need to go find Isabel. Right then, Sapak, my boy. You go easy on those these greenhorns now. Don't want to scare them away. <laughs> Don't go thinking that just because you know the captain that I'm not gonna grill you hard. The work ain't gonna do itself. Now then, 
I've got three pieces of mail need to be delivered. First one address to Lena at the Astro Hotel. Second one needs to go to Agu. He's an engineer. Around this time, he's probably over at Mama Jazz. And for the last one, it's gonna be a bit more difficult. Wait. Oh, so did am I? My, I'm I'm hypothesizing here. Did Sapak know that the chip would be defective? Because he because he's he's already stating us it's gonna be a bit more difficult, but he's not explaining how it's gonna be more difficult. Oh, mm, does he know? Does he know? Needs to go to the guy over at Red Rock Repair. And don't you go misplacing any letters again. Got it? I want to letter to hand delivery. Letter to hand. Okay. Um, about this one for guy. Yeah, yeah, I know that. That guy is hell to deal with. But it's our duty to deliver every single piece of mail. Letter to hand. So do we gotta. But no, it's just the chip that he ordered. There's something wrong with it. We have the actual chip he needs. Huh? So someone actually gives a damn about that old bear? If that's the case, then give him the right one, I suppose. I just don't want to hear any complaints. Do you got it? Oh. Well, well, I'm glad he gave us permission to give us to give the right chip. All right. Good night, good night. Oh, hello there. Our home is your home here at the Esther Hotel. Though I'm afraid we're all out of rooms at the moment. Delivery for you, Lena. Oh, excellent. That arrived much faster than I expected. Hand it here, hand it here. Don't get your hopes up too much. Oh, what's that? Don't tell me you already looked inside, did you? Oh, it's just a New Year's card for my mom. I always get a little homesick this time of year. Hmm, okay, well, that's done. We can now go and deliver the actual emotion chip that Daniel needs. And hopefully he doesn't have an attitude. We got the emotion chip. Wait, what? Motion chip? Seriously? Yeah, Floyd gave it to us. Then you went to the island of time. Dang, you guys are really going all out. Those two must be pretty good friends of yours. All right, come on then. Let's get the operation started. You guys, too. Seems like you've got a pretty vested interest in this. Wait, are we going to actually go inside? <gasps> we are. Oh, we're actually going to see what's going on? Oh, yay. Boss! I thought I told you not to let anyone in here. But they have the emotion chip. Emotion chip? Here! Oh, he looks like a grumpy old man. <laughs> this, this is definitely it. I have absolutely no idea how you could have gotten this, but I suppose now is not the time for questions, is it? Smith, let's do it. Do, uh, do it. Yes, sir. Oh, we're going to see Daniel. All right, all right. Oh, epic music. What the heck? What is going on inside, inside that metal box? Energy core level rising. <laughs> Don't you worry. We got everything under control. <sighs> we got interferences on all frequencies. You think I'm blind or what? Daniel, you okay in there? I'm... I'm f fine. S somehow it almost feels familiar, I guess. W William? W William, are you there? I'm right here. I'm glad William cares about Daniel. Wow, he's like he's like he's like uh, walking, like pacing. Can we go back to P Hot Croc Isle? Hot Croc Isle. Wait a minute. You are that William. You certainly know how to choose the best time for things, <laughs> William. Quiet. Almost got ya, little fella. Don't you even think about going nowhere. I know, I know. He acts like he doesn't care, but he actually cares, which is like really nice. 1,890%? What the heck? I can't get it under control. What's going on? These, these energy levels, it's impossible. Over 9,000? <laughs> uh, 
The container's not gonna take much more. Stop, stop the operation. Cut the circuits, now. Whoa. Daniel, Daniel, are you all right? What's happening? What's going on? Hurry, the system's overloading. Wait, what? Did it, did it succeed? Wait, did it succeed? It looks the same. Daniel! I hope it succeeded. I hope he doesn't have an attitude anymore. Daniel, Daniel, are you okay? I don't feel any different. Oh my god, he's still, he's still stuttering. <laughs> then the operation... A simple miscalculation. Oh, sorry, folks. I just never would have expected this little guy would have so much energy inside him. Th then there's no way to f fix me. Oh, he's not fixed. No, I thought we fixed him. Hey, don't go underestimating me that quick. We're just gonna need to find us a more suitable containers. Oh, then you'll be an ordinary kid in no time. Really? Really? Well, this has been quite the tiring day. Why don't we head back to the iron carbine for now to rest? And thank you, both of you. If it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't even have gotten this far. Oh, maybe, maybe it is. Oh, come on, Daniel. Let's go. Uh, okay. And do let us know if there are any new developments. We'll be in the train graveyard. Ooh, okay. Let's go deliver the rest of the letters, huh, John? Hmm, okay. So, we are... Need to go to Pleasure Bay. Finish this off, and I... Hopefully, hopefully, we aren't gonna go and go back in time again. But if we do, then at least we know that we need a bigger um, container. So... Mr. Agu, we have a delivery for you. Though, I think maybe you won't be too happy about it. Your article isn't there. What? Those damn editors, I should have known. Oh, you're right. You know, most likely it was. You, you, yep, you know, you're right, you're right. I, I, feel, I feel like that's also one of the things that the devs are showing us um, about uh, the relationship between team, uh, William and Daniel. Because, because throughout the game, Daniel or William, like, he didn't really act like, uh, like, uh, he didn't really act very great with, uh, Daniel. But at least we now know that he truly cares. So, how are your wee friend go operations go? It, uh, I mean, it worked, but also did it. It seems nothing actually different. <sighs> Suppose operations be like that sometimes, but so long as it didn't fail, then you can call it a success. Ah, oh, right. Just got in a new deliver a letter for you to deliver. Need to go too. <gasps> oh no! Please don't tell me we're back in time again. Uh, I even at the Esther Hotel. <sighs> How did you know? Just indeed for that cookie old bloke. Yeah, deliver this and you'll be done for the day. <gasps> Oh, we're not going back in time. Just leave it to us. Yay! Okay, we succeeded in altering the timeline. Yes, that's good. Now I need to go and speak to the uh, old man that's in the top of the hotel room. All right, let's go and speak to Ivan, the room that we couldn't enter because the game wouldn't let us. <laughs> All right, here it is. Who is it? Excuse me, sir, we have a delivery for you. Scram! Oh, dang. Probably that imbecile journal that's pointless drivel. Pretentious twits, all of them. Don't believe me, huh? huh? I'll show them. I'll show them all. I'll find Isabel. Oh, this guy knows Isabel? Isabel? Did you say Isabel? Where is she? Do you know? You two know that woman? We came to Esther City to find her. 
outsiders, huh? Which means she must also be from the out from outside the time field. But what was it she hoped to find coming here? Excuse me, sir, but do you know where Isabel is? First off, I don't know Isabel, okay? But I do know this. She came here to me. If she wasn't after my research, then she must have been trapped by something. Trapped? By what? How the hell am I supposed to know? Hey, you listen right here. I'm the greatest scientist in Esther City. Well, one of them. But anyway, if I say I don't know something, then I don't know it. But if there is some kind of clue out there, then surely Thomas would. Damn it. Well, here it comes again. Oh, Ivan. Ivan knows about the that the sound of the, of the school bell. Oh. Huh? What's coming? Then go find Thomas. Thomas on the island of time. Oh, oh interesting. So he knows. I, I, maybe he's like the only one who can actually hear the sound. And then, then we can hear the sound once we like respawn <laughs> back in time. <laughs> Oh my god, I have to do this for the fourth time. Yay. Were you a good man? A bad man? It matters not, for today you lie in the ground. Whether your name lives on or is forgotten in time, it's all the same to you now. Farewell, Professor Solomon. May you now become one with the past. Oh, and then don't tell me you have to go and take his emotion um, thing again. <laughs> We need to find Thomas. He's got to know something about Isabel. I know. It's another time. Whoa. This cemetery is pretty big. Oh, dang. Okay. So, so wait. Does he still have his emotion board? How depressing. Is this what those emotions humans are always talking about? Feel like? Oh, okay. Okay. So he's not, he's not going to like take it. All right. Oh, we're not we're not going to take it. I know. I think this is the fourth time loop. So, yeah. We got the one of them which got us back the the second time. Oh no, no. The second time we actually gone and um try to fix Daniel. No, so this is the third time loop of going back in time. All right, I'm going to guess after this, we're going to go into battling mode. Yep, there it is, battling mode. Do, 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 do. What the heck? Oh, there's stairs. Interesting. Oh, jeez, you're hopping like a bunny. Stop. Oh my god. Uh, choose a different weapon. There you go. Oh my god. Smacked. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's our chest. Oh, got advanced gear parts. Okay, cool, cool. So then let's go up and then we need to go. Oh uh, yeah, we need to go right. Oh, bombs, bombs. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. And then you went to Ivan, this is the fourth. Okay, okay, good job, good job, Mimi. I'm, gl I'm glad you were able to uh, get it all sorted out. So this is the fourth time, cool. All right, so let's see. We need to go, I'll go down actually. It looks like a dead end. What? Okay. What the heck, it's a force field? Um, what? What the heck? I want that. I, I want this. <laughs> oh, unfortunate. We can't get this item. Yeah, yeah. I hope that this is the last one, too. Let me see. It's over here. Oh, there's something glowy. 
what, what, what is it? Oh, it's that thing. Wait, what? What? You know what? Let's do a bomb. Crap. Wait, what? No! I don't understand. I, I see something... Something's beeping right here. And I can't get it because it's underwater. Oh my. Most likely... It's a it's an I it's some type of weapon or item we need to grab. So, oh, not you. Crap. Crap. Jeez. Oh my God, the gun is not helping me with that. Okay, Let's see. It's another one of those. I can't go down. I can't go up. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, so I have to go actually like up here to go over down over on that side. Oh my. These guys don't have boundaries. Okay, so I can't go up. It looks like from this side top area. I can't go there until later. Huh. No, no. Oh man. I'm gonna have to dodge, and then once they attack, yeah, I do that. No, no, stop, stop, stop jumping. Whoops. There you go. Give me, give me, give me the salt, but stop jumping away. Okay. Let's see. We got that done, but it looks like. I can go left, but I think I might want to go right, actually. Or should I go left and see if that's a dead end, actually? Oh, that that doesn't look that doesn't look creepy at all. <laughs> um. Okay. Sure, sure. Let's go inside this weird door. Oh, this is just. Giving me the exact same spot that I went to. Really? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well at least I know this is an entrance. Alright, cool. A different entrance from where I went from, from before. I don't. I, I, like, I want to go and like go to the areas I want. The game's not letting me. Oh well. I don't want to fight you guys. I'm just going to run. Bye. Let's see. Yeah, so I'm not going there. I'm just going to dodge you guys. I see no point. In... I, though, though I could... Oh, it's another barrier? Wait. Wait, I can break this barrier by doing a, a large energy? Wait. Oh, that's right. I forgot to hold. Oh. I forgot. There, there, there's a last one. Yeah, that's what I was supposed to do. Oh, okay, so I could have got those chests, but I decided I forgot. Oh well. <laughs> We're here. It's all pretty. It really is actually pretty. Oh. The weather here, it's not cold at all. But wasn't it just snowing? Look at that helicopter. This has got to be the right place. Looks like it actually. Oh, though it looks like it has holes inside it. <laughs> yep, probably. And and I wasn't listening. The thing is, I, I did do an energy blast. I just forgot I could use that much stronger blast. <laughs> Hello, is Mr. Thomas here? Who is it? Oh, oh, I like that mustache. <laughs> White hair, like freshly fallen snow. Mother? Wait, what? My name's Sam, and I'm not anyone's mother. You're not friends with that Solomon guy, are you? No, no, I guess I've just been on this island too long. 
What is it you folks need me for then? Professor Ivan told you told us to come find you. He said you might know something about Isabel. You wouldn't mind saying a bit more, would you? It's just it's been a long time since I've heard this voice. This voice? What do you mean? We just came here from New Dam City. We're looking for our friends, Alpha and Isabel. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, you're gonna find it, but Sam has an alter ego, and um, uh, when this happens, John cannot move move for some odd reason. But sometimes NPC characters, other than John and Sam, um, <laughs> uh, can move and interact with the alternate version of Sam, and it's like a it's a red version of Sam. While when that happens, our Sam becomes the blue version of Sam. So you can see like color tones. Anyway, um, Sam is trying to um, activate the breeding factory. Y you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and so and so he has gone and uh, uh, she has gone and corrupted Solomon to you know uh, activate the breeding factory. So in fact, one of the so we actually had to fight Sol uh, Solomon, like the baby Solomon, the kid Solomon at the um, at New Dam City, which you weren't here for, but. Um, Anyway, we got the adult version of Sam, and most likely he's been influenced by alternate Sam again. And then uh, we have old man. <laughs> so yeah, I don't I don't know why, but Sam is everywhere for some odd reason. Um, hello? Huh? Oh, sorry. Just hearing you talk is giving me a complete sensory overload right now. Anyway, I can't say I know anything about these friends of yours, but something tells me I no. We will be able to help you. Wait here for a second. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Glad I could try to do my best filling you in. All right, then. Let's go. I have no idea who's we. He didn't say. I'll wait for you folks at the dock. But before I go, let me give you something. Ain't gonna be easy on the way back. Wait. Like a heart piece or something? Wait, what is that? It's like a new bomb. A remote bomb? <gasps> oh, that's cool. This island, it's got a few secrets. Might do good uh, to look for them. There's a few things might come in handy for you. Cool. Oh, that's that's cool, actually. We're definitely going to go and explore this uh, island later. Let's see. Let's go back to the docks. Or at least back to the save point. Let's see. Or no, actually, what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is gonna go for those chests that I missed or decided that uh, I can't open. <laughs> okay, let's see. Do, 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 do. Where are you? So there was a chest, I think, right here, like in this middle area. Yeah, okay, so we'll go and do that. I see there's two chests, I think. Let's see, so we're gonna go over here. I'm not gonna go down, I will go up though. Now where are where ouch, whoops. Let's see, are you chests? Where's that chest? Ah yes, it's down there. Alright, let's go. Bye. Just wanna smack you away. Okay, here it is. Oh, Damn it, uh, boop. Nope, there you go, nope, there you go. So you don't run away. Okay, now let's do it. Do, 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 do. Poof. I like that, there you go. Oh, oh, thank you for the hydrate. <sighs> Octopus? Uh, I don't trust having that octopus in there. <laughs> I don't know how long the octopus has been in there. That's that's weird. <laughs> okay. And then this one. There was a chest here. And I'll try using um, Sam's special ability. A bit further. Yes, we did it. No, Japar. There has not been a disturbing lack of bonks. <laughs> Good try though, good try. <laughs> I 
I haven't done anything to deserve a bonk yet, I think. At least not not from what I can remember. <laughs> no! Don't don't bonk me for that. <laughs> Why? Why? Alright, so I need to go and Oh, that's cool! Boom! I like that. I'm safe for now. Yes! I'm, I'm glad I'm safe for now. <laughs> well, at least I'm safe for this stream, actually. Because, they said we're going to end.